All right, Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another channel tarot card message for you guys today. Hopefully, you enjoyed the blooper reel. <laughs> um, yeah, the last message I tried putting out for you guys, it got stopped by the rain. I uploaded it in anyway, so you guys can see what usually goes on behind the scenes of these channel tarot card messages. But we're back here today. Make sure you come in liking, sharing, subscribing, adding value to the channel. I'm feeling real bluish today, sitting on my nice blue blanket <laughs> out on the beach early morning, just after 9 a.m. And we finally got the sun out, man. Yesterday, oh my God, Scorpio energy hiding everything away. Everything was hidden by the rain. I think that was the most rainiest day I've had so far since I've been out on the beach vacation. But yeah, let's get into your messages. Let's see uh, what spirit has in store for you. What energies are currently surrounding you? What's coming towards you? What's the therapeutic uh, advice or what we're going to be doing for the session today. All right, so let's get into it. Messages for Scorpio today, spirit. What do you have to say in regards to the water sign Scorpio? Let's get some messages out for Scorpio during Libra season. If you have Libra somewhere in your birth chart, moon, rising, Venus, north node placement, I have mine in my Venus. So yeah, Scorpio and Venus. <laughs> you know, the, the messages may resonate for me as well, but let's get into it, all right? What do we have for the collective today, the Scorpio collective today, Spirit? Oh, already jumpers, okay. Guess the intuition is hitting, man. The messages have been waiting to come out. Mm-hmm. All right, one more shuffle. A couple more priming, and then we'll get into your reading. Yeah, a lot of jumpers, messages. Spirit is wanting to speak through the Hoodoo Tarot deck today. All right, grounding your message today is the daughter of sticks. Yesterday, while uh, starting your reading, we had the mother of sticks showing up. So, yeah, still some sort of um, manifesting um it could be a lot of playful energy for what I'm getting. Uh, typically, the um, the daughter of sticks, which is the knight of wands, symbolizes someone that goes on some sort of an, a journey or trip to prove something here, right? Um, it could be some sort of an athlete, but again, I'm getting a lot of playful energy here. The daughter of sticks grounding the deck, and then we have the daughter of knives and the three of knives. Mm. Someone has something to get off their chest. This could be... Uh, communication possibly running away from a situation as well hmm that's interesting all right so a uh, daughter of knives is like quick communication aggressive communication sometimes it's not even thoughtful so this could be some sort of an argument in a relationship possibly third party or cheating if someone is not getting enough attention or someone is making it known that they're not getting enough attention here Let's see dr grant Mm, I'm almost getting like uh, exploitation. Maybe someone's getting exploited. Now, interestingly enough, Scorpio, if you've been into recent news lately, there was like some crazy uh, situation found where it was a bunch of young male phalluses uh, chopped off and stored somewhere. It was uh, very interesting, man. It reminds me of circumcision. Um, but I bring it up because Scorpios are one of the most um, sexual sign, if not the most sexual sign in the, in the Zodiac. So they would say, right? Secrets as well. We have secret news articles and secret news events. All type of secret things that goes on in society and we don't even know what, what's going on. So yeah, someone's being ignored here or someone was being ignored here and there's a message that needs to be delivered here. Someone speaking for people. To, um, this could be like a news anchor or something like that. Speaking for someone uh, that can't speak for themselves, right? Who knows uh, what people in jail and what prison uh, in prison go through? But Dr. Grant symbolizes Virgo energy, which again is a virgin, right? <laughs> Interesting energies. Uh, this could also be a business owner, an entrepreneur here as well, picking up additional uh, energies and additional stories. Someone could be very secretive, possibly a business outside of their home, content creation. Some people will call this like an incel or someone that needs to get out of the house because they're always in the house. But Dr. Grant preferred to do things in a, in a traditional way. He was a medicine man. So there may be a lot of details involved in a situation here or a lot of details that may be coming out of a situation. Not sure what you're involved in, but we'll get more energies here. Fourth sticks, the home life. 
typically the twin flame card or some sort of a established relationship connection possibly friendship this may be romantic this could also be someone waiting on someone to come home i'm almost getting amber alert type energy this is a very strong message here today or a very interesting message here today for scorpio you are very private and very secretive very deep-seated when it comes to knowledge intuition and occultism we do know the world is ran off occultism of right i can't even speak about the pope and the things that the pope allows to happen right mm -hmm. <laughs> even these secret societies they're so they're so secret uh about the things that they partake in that they have to um they have to uh hold some sort they have to hold each other accountable in some sort of a ritualistic way i.e you know the bunch of guys you know jerking off in a circle around each other just to be like oh if you don't do what we say or you don't follow the brotherhood we have something to expose you about so it's so much going on here i'm not sure why this energy is coming in ace of baskets cup overfloweth love mm -hmm. this could be um the way a female feels at this time as well right now yeah waiting on someone to come home with the four of sticks possibly a virgin Okay, so it, it, we're turning around here. Someone's feeling like they're not getting enough of a situation here. This could be an entrepreneur or a virgin, right? Possibly a secretary, assistant as well. This could be the home life, a wife or something like that. Then the Ace of Basket comes out, shows how, um, how saturated the situation is, the love, the intuition. Could be dealing with a clairvoyant. Yeah. Sometimes people don't need a lot of attention around them. Sometimes they can very well uh, take on the weight of the world by themselves, uh, right? But uh, there needs to be some sort of an emotional release here. Again, this would be like someone, um, for instance, Scorpio, that, uh, that does not like to be, or they would say they don't like to have friends and family and they don't like to... Um, get themselves involved in relationships yet they run some sort of right 2022 social medias yet they run some sort of an online business where they rely on likes uh, subscribes followers you know that sort of thing doing business with people so it's like um uh, an, ener an energetic connection here something that, uh, something a little bit to do with attention again again someone feeling like they're not getting enough attention or that there's cheating or third party situations going on let's get more of the um the messages here Yeah, I was going to say so far we have one major arcana. Here's the second major arcana. So this could be um, a feminine or masculine, depending on how you resonate. Um, John Horse here is the divine masculine. Aries major arcana, the emperor. Someone could be waiting on the emperor. Now, the emperor is a, um, a master builder, right? A master manifester as well, right? Someone very brave, uh, someone very bold. It's a leader, right? It's all of the kings in the deck, right? So they're very thoughtful, they're very grounded and stable, they're very intuitive and psychic. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be esoterically inclined. Um, yeah. Someone needs to say something to this emperor here because it comes right on top of the, the Dart of Knives. Or this could be the emperor delivering some sort of a speech here, delivering some sort of a, a, a message. Mm -hmm. Getting like... Um, yeah, this could be like a very important person here. Again, if it's a C, I'm getting Jordan Peterson vibes for whatever reason. This could be with the two major arcana showing up, John Horace, which is Divine Masculine, and Dr. Grant, um, which is Virgo. And again, a business owner, an entrepreneur. This could be like some sort of a TED Talk here or something like that. Or again, an, um, a social media content creator, someone that has their own platform that they get to speak about um, certain things, certain relevant topics. I'm getting news anchors as well. Um, hmm yeah a supervisor someone with very strong um hmm. they could have a very strong presence here with john horse coming up mm -hmm. someone very tempting someone very obsessed could possibly be obsessed with their work here or they could be perceived uh to be um very possessed or obsessed with their work here maybe a lot of people want this this person's attention so yeah, this could be like a very um, entertaining TV show, right? Um, this could be like a very entertaining person. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of entertainment vibes here. 
So yeah, this could be some sort of a news article, a news anchor. Anchor could even be a website as well that has a lot of news out or just a lot of a lot of topics uh, on this particular news site. We get the eight of baskets, right? Walking away from a situation here. Very powerful emotions attached to the situation here. So this would be like something episodic, right? Eight of baskets. Uh, the way I look at eight of baskets, it's like attachments. Um, and with it being uh, the, the number eight, which is an alchemic symbol, if you turn it sideways, right? It's almost like um, hesitating to whether whether or not you want to return back to the situation here. Now, eight of baskets, you would be leaving, walking away from a situation to go into wish fulfillment, which would be a nine. But people have a problem uh, letting go of attachments and that sort of thing, right? Even Scorpios, they're very private. Um, they don't really build a lot of connections, but when they do, they're very strong. So... You know, uh, just like Libra himself, uh, they can be very uh, uh, attached to certain things. So uh, whether it's like a TV show that people are waiting on to come back around or someone's opinion or a book that's being released or whatever the case may be. Um, this could even I'm even getting moon. Someone could be waiting on the next moon cycle to come around or something like that. Eight of baskets on top of Dr. Grant. Waiting on new business or returning customers, right? People watch their customers walk out of their um, out of their business, right? Whether it's a brick and mortar store, mm, this could be unsubscribing to a uh, content creator, only to come back and resubscribe, right? I do it all the time. If I get too over encumbered by um, what I see online, I'll just disengage. It's like blocking off my social medias or just deactivating my social medias until I feel comfortable or my energy has built up back um, built back up enough after I've rested to entertain these again. We got the strength card, right? Exactly. Building back up the strength. Now it comes out back on top of the fourth sword, so it's a strong love connection. I have a strong attachment to a recent um, I guess it may not be so recent. Uh, maybe it's probably going on about five or six months now here. A tarot reader that uh, um, I'm extremely attracted to. Ace of baskets type of situation here. There's a lot of obsession and a lot of temptation here. Miss Robinson, John Horace, the divine masculine that I resonate as uh, with Aries in my moon sign. But this could be people um, showing strength in their relationship, gaining some sort of a confidence, being some sort of a leader. This could also be children, some sort of an ancestral DNA. It almost feels karmic here. So again, past life possibly. A lot of strong intuition and psychic connections here. The Ten of Coins shows up. Very abundant here. So this is strong business acumen with um, all the major arcana to show up so far has something to do with business. John Horse will be a leader in the industry. Ms. Robinson is an entrepreneur, right? She was being harassed by people that uh, didn't believe in her business. Um, the Dr. Grant Virgo, he um, preferred a traditional medicines versus um, what, you know, is the societal norm is. And then we have the strength card, which would be uh, the strength you would show and the consistency, right? The bravery to start something new, right? Being the center of attention, right? And this could be online or social media. And then we have the Ten of Coins that shows out on top of Ace of Baskets. So, yeah, it shows it comes out on top of Ace, Ace of Baskets as well. So, yeah, this could be um, some sort of a... It could be a spiritual business. This could be possibly a strong love connection that's going to be that's going to bring great abundance or a strong, um, a strong, sturdy foundation. Could even be a large family as well. It's almost like this love is bringing out a lot of... Um, business potential in a way that i can explain it here with john horse this could be like a um a father um or even a man that becomes a father right and uh that puts in an overwhelming amount of effort or work um because it's a sense of pride there to take care of their family or to take care of their friends right so they're inclined to produce a lot of results i was even i posted something on my youtube because i have access to the community tab now about um, taking on the childlike state of mind as Walt Disney did, right? I always talk about a grown-ass Jewish man, however old he was, 30, 35, 40 years old, that sat in a dark room for however number of years to create what we have now, which is Mickey Mouse and what that created for the world, Walt Disney World, right? Disney owns 
pretty much every almost <laughs> half this country <laughs> whether people would believe it or not and then yeah so yeah that could be a man or a woman right uh a woman that um because this is what we have here a woman that has a strong yeah something about love here or twin flame taking care of the family like she doesn't have a problem producing fruit right fruit doesn't uh fruit doesn't fall far from the tree or something like that is what i'm getting so she doesn't mind having children or she doesn't mind um producing abundance for her family here hmm interesting message for scorpio maybe someone's going through some sort of a midlife crisis right now on, on, on uh, one of these stories here that I'm picking up here. What else do we have? Six of coins. Yeah. Business is uh, reciprocation. Yeah. So it could be businesses. Ten of coins. Multiple businesses. Reciprocation as well. Building the finances up. So this could be whether it's uh, passive income, making money while you sleep, multiple businesses, or um, this could be like delegating, right? Uh, or working hand in hand with um, very powerful people. Right, working smarter, not harder. Yeah, but I see a lot of uh, I see a lot of focus here, is what I'm getting. This could be donations. Uh, this could be charity, philanthropy. Son of sticks, an adventure, curiosity. People could be coming towards you, uh, being very curious about your business. So this could be window shopping as well, coming on top of. Miss Robinson and Three of Knives. So that could be the feeling of cheating, right? People walking by your business. They're just sampling, window shopping. <laughs> they may not purchase now, but yeah, they may come back later to purchase here. The next card to clarify here is the Eight of Baskets, which is walking away, which is attachments on top of Dr. Grant, which is the business, Virgo, right? Virgins, they haven't partaken in your business yet, so they don't know what it is you, or what the value is that you bring. So let's clarify, Seven of Baskets. Opening up people's intuition, open up people's mind, right? This is illusion or smokescreen. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Um, if you don't know where you're going, uh, any road is the best road taken. 1717. Yeah. So you have a lot of options or people, you give people a lot of options here. Six of sticks. You could be some, uh, yeah, you could be a clairvoyant here, maybe an energy reader or an artist, right? Um, there's an, an artist spans across various things, painters, singers, dancers, right? Sculptors, mm, all that type of stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting like a hundred different types of artists. Uh, we have Six of Sticks, yeah. Getting content creator vibes or this could be some sort of a pilgrimage. Maybe, uh, what does it come out on top of? The Strength and Six of Wands. The family coming towards you. Or someone that uh, um, maybe they want to start a family or they have a lot of or they're very familiar to you or the vibe that you give off is very familiar. So they're willing to give this standing ovation or they're will, willing to give you this uh, this chance, this 15 minutes of fame, this highlighted moment here. Mm -hmm. Next, Mother Sticks. Yeah, so starting the reading, we had Daughter Sticks and then ending the reading, we had Mother Sticks. So I forgot what the energy was, but of course, this could be a content cre creator. This could be someone, uh, an actor or someone very playful, mm -hmm. someone very spiritual as well. Not sure if this person is over, overly religious, but they're very spiritual. Mm -hmm. Now, this could be a mover or a shaker or someone that's very passionate about their ideas. Uh, they could be very sexually inclined as well. Mother of Sticks comes out on top of Ten of Coins, Ace of Baskets, trying to produce a large family or trying to please everyone or trying to please someone in particular here it could be i just can't pin down what the message or what the reading is saying it's been a while since i've read yeah we're gonna pull the major arcanas and then we'll pull the high court cards and see what additional messages i can pull from here we have we have four major arcanas so something in regards to your grounding or your stability right your constitution your security here and we do have the four of wands which would be a relationship with a twin flame union so we have strength and leo the center of attention your bravery or the sun is out right now how well you are illuminated right could even be your strong dna mm, which is going to show you how how strong you are internally 
we have Dr. Grant, which is a uh, Virgo, right? Paying very close attention to details. We know that he's an entrepreneur, right next to Miss. Um, and usually, a lot of the a lot of divine masculines, including in the Hoodoo Tarot deck, a lot of the major arcana, they were entrepreneurs, right? They were root workers, right? Slaves uh, after they uh, got out of slavery, even <laughs> even a couple years later, some of them didn't even know that they were free. But a lot of slaves, uh, and even when we talk about Black Wall Street. Um, these people were able to create a lot of businesses and a lot of foundations and a lot of the tools and things that we use today. Some of them weren't even able to take advantage of their, um, you know, of the things that they created. Right. That's why a lot of them went into uh, the hoodoo uh, culture or uh, hoodoo spirituality, because, again, uh, Americanized system, what have you, believe that African spirituality, i.e. voodoo or hoodoo is evil when really. When we go back to the British Royal Army, the, their first loss that they took uh, in 1804 was by the Haitian uh, Revolution or the Haitian Army, who didn't have as much gunpowder, guns and technology as them. They used their spirituality. So spirituality, again, the things that you see in a tangible plane come from the unseen. That's where most of our power comes from, right? Our spirituality. And when we take our spirituality serious, right, the way we think and the way we feel, we can manifest the things that we want around us, right? Great ideas and abundance, and everyone can take part in it, not just black people, right? We have, um, yeah, Dr. Grant, um, and we have Miss um, Robinson next to each other. And then John Horse, right, being a leader, the divine masculine. So this could be some sort of an attempt to call in one's uh, twin flame, divine counterpart here, whether you're masculine or feminine. Uh, and then what do we have? The high court cards, mother sticks, daughter of knives right delivering some sort of a passionate speech could be a motivational speaker uh could be a leader in the front or a leader in the back a thought provoker here some sort of a strong artist they have very strong words they're very very passionate and then of course we have the ace of baskets here with the four of sticks so again a very strong relationship headed towards you or this is what you're manifesting now it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship this could be like a content creator right or someone that has a large tribe or a large group or they're leading people All right but every leader needs uh that leadette right every king needs the queen or every queen needs the king you have six of sticks and six of coin yeah people coming towards you they're purchasing things from you they're partaking in your um whatever you're manifesting here your ideals your goals your dreams we recently had 22 22 pass on the clock All right so again this could be some sort of a twin flame union or some sort of a soulmate connection or soul tribe being built here oh we did have the son of sticks so yeah people are being curious right whether it's window shopping or sampling or that's something that you may want to include in your business as well you may want to revamp the way that things are looking here um what do they call it rebranding or you may want to offer samples as well, right? We have seven and eight of baskets. Um, yeah, giving the people the opportunity to experience something new or something that they're unsure about here because there's three of knives, which again, people get hesitant here. If this is a love relationship, this could be someone fearing third parties or fearing not getting enough attention. Maybe possibly even fearing not having enough here with the 10 of coins, but we see great abundance here. Usually business owners or people with high intelligence or high empathic knowledge, they're able to find a way, right? So that's what I have for you here today, Scorpio. Very interesting reading. Um, but yeah, we got the sun out for you today, shining. Hopefully you enjoyed your messages, right? You got something to prove. Go ahead and prove it, right? Just like most business owners. Uh, I think last night I was on Twitter and I saw uh, Elon Musk post something. He's saying that he, he is either he promised or something like that he um he wanted to make sure that he doesn't that he doesn't fail people uh so you know whether you're against what he does or you're uh, for what he does um he uh we all know elon musk uh and the things that he's after right as, as well as jeff bezos and uh all other types of entrepreneurs in history steve jobs and these types of people um but yeah, let's get uh, let's let's get into it, man. Uh, check out the other readings on the channel as well. Your moon, rising, Venus, and North Node placements. Again, happy birthday if you have any Libra um, birth chart uh, aspects in your birth chart as well. But catch you guys on the next one. Peace.